In this lecture, we'll talk about the programming languages in Lua. After the invention of Charles Babbage's analytical engine in 1837, computers have always needed instructions to perform tasks, and the instructions come in the form of coding languages. Ever since 150 years ago, with Ada Lovelace's translation algorithm, one thing is constant about these languages. They are constantly evolving. Newer and better features are continuously introduced, and the result is a staggering number of coding languages that all serve different and specific purposes. A very common question that gets brought up by first-time coders is which programming language is the best one out there? One of the most popular programming languages is C, since a lot of popular languages are derivatives of C. PHP, on the other hand, can act as a relay between a database and a web server, and therefore can be of a substitute for almost any other languages including Java, Python, C, C++, Ruby, Perl, and JavaScript. But that does not necessarily mean PHP can replace other markup or style languages like HTML and CSS. As such are the cases, there is no one programming language that is better than all the other. They were all made with a purpose and excel in different cases. What you choose to be your primary programming language is entirely up to you. All in all, if you are fluent in one language, then learning another is not as difficult. As mentioned in the previous lesson, we will go through programming IoT with Lua as it is a simple and easy programming language to directly program chips like ESPA266. Lua is an extremely versatile and popular programming language that you'll find it embedded in many other applications like Adobe's Lightroom or even World of Warcraft. Many developers are unaware of how widely Lua is used. It is even used in a game like Angry Birds to take care of logics in the game. In this course, we will study basic concepts and functions of Lua that we will be using to get right into programming IoT. First things first, in order to program at Lua, we will be using the Zero Brain Studio as our IDE, which stands for Integrated Development Environment. There are more widely used IDEs like Visual Studio and Eclipse, but Zero Brain is a standalone IDE made specifically for Lua in its simplicity and makes it easy to use for beginners. You can find installers for different operating systems from studio.zerobrain.com. There is a link for the download on the top right. Press Take Me to the Download page this time hyperlink to skip to the download page. Now you will see the installer options for different operating systems. In my case, I am using Windows 10 64-bit, but there is no option for it. So I will download the Windows 32-bit EXE installer instead. Once the download is finished, click the .exe file to run the installer. Now click Install to install Zero Brain Studio on your PC. Once it is done, open the installed application. Click the Choose a Project Directory button indicated by the yellow box. Now let's try writing the infamous Hello World program. Once Project Directory is created, right-click the directory name to create a new file. Then type hello.lua, then enter. Now double click the file to open hello.lua. On the first line, type print, open parenthesis, quotation mark, hello, space, world, quotation mark, and close parenthesis, and click execute the current project slash file button indicated by the yellow box or F6 to execute the code. Then, it will show the execution of the code in the output console on the bottom. You can see that Hello World was printed on the output tab. And that is the Hello World for Lua. On the next lesson, we will go over variables and a few of the string functions. If you have any questions, please let us know on the Q&A board. Thank you.